Hey y'all, welcome back to Captain Morgan Darts. Uh, I'm doing a quick video here on this new Grand Player app. Uh, the app just uh, came out, I believe, last night or today. And so I just want to do a quick review and tutorial. I've already looked this over. First of all, you'll need to do a search for Grand Player, uh, all one word. If you put a space in between Grand and Player, you will not find the app. It doesn't show up. So search for it, all one word. And it is this app right here at the top, Grand Player. I've already installed it, downloaded it, and um, run through it a little bit. So we'll open that up. Now, one of the things is that this has a uh, username and password that it uses your Grand Board username and password. So whatever you're using for your Grand Board app, you will use that same username and password to get into the Grand Player app. One of the issues is that if you have any um, special characters in your Grand Board password, that will not work for the Grand Player app. You will have to go onto the Grand Board app and change your password. Once you've got that password changed and it only has um, letters and numbers, that's all it can have is letters and numbers, then uh, once you've got that changed, then you can pull up this Grand Player app and log in using that same username and password. Uh, you cannot set up a, a separate username and password. It, it won't work that way. The Grand Player app uh, has all of your friends. It will show you which friends are active right up here. Um, you can uh, pull up your friends list and all of your friends right here uh, would be on there. Uh, anyone that you are following who has not yet uh, requested you as a friend or has not yet followed you, they will show up in this following section. And followers is anyone uh, who is following you who you have not followed back. Uh, once you are both following each other, you will then be friends on this app. You can message your friends. And... Um, you know, talk back and forth, set up games, whatever the case is. You can uh, search for people. You can search by uh, country, specific countries. You can search by uh, specific player ratings as well. Your player data is uh, down here. You can see your O1 charts uh, as well as a table of your O1 games. The only thing I don't like is it only shows the last 30 games. I'd like to see more games than that because, you know, I want to know whether I am improving uh, or whether I'm getting worse uh, over the course of time. 30 games isn't very many games, and you're probably going to stay fairly flat over those 30 games. So I would like to see my uh, user stats for the entire course of time. You know, have I plateaued, etc.? Um, cricket chart is here, and then you have your stats. Now, one thing that I cannot show you on this app is up here in the top right, uh, you can see where I'm trying to press, but because my screen recorder is up there, it won't let me do it. Uh, now, you can scan the QR code. Uh, that button is right up there. Uh, you have to allow it to... Um, take pictures and videos, etc. And you've got your QR uh, scanner to join a game. Um, the three bars that are right here that it won't let me click on because my um, screen recorder um, setting is right up there. I wonder if I can move that. Nope, that won't move. So I have uh, taken some screenshots. I will post those up to show you what uh, that looks like. Uh, but you can go into your player settings, you can go into your app settings, um, you can uh, change your account, you can create a profile, etc. Uh, you can edit your profile, um, which I will be creating one. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, the nice thing here is that you can add players to games mm -hmm. via this app. Um, you know, you can set up and they would have to create a new player profile if they aren't a player yet. But 
uh, it's a little bit easier to do it this way than it is the old grand board way of adding players. Um, one of the problems with this app is, at least on Samsung phones, is that your Samsung phone, your home buttons and whatnot are down here at the bottom. Well, that's also where your message bar is. And so I'm trying to click in the message bar to be able to type a message to get my keyboard to come up. There we go. And so it's a little bit of a pain. Now I have already sent a bug report on this um, to let people, you know, to let the grand board or grand player app creators know about this uh, problem. Hopefully they get that fixed. Um, but that is one of the issues with it. So anyway, that is the new grand player app. If you're not familiar with my channel, uh, you can uh, check it out, look at uh, various videos of me playing other people here on the grand board, as well as some reviews of different things. I'm going to try and do some more reviews of the different games and whatnot on grand board. Uh, if you like my content, please uh, like and subscribe, share it with your friends, uh, make sure you comment, um, you know, let me know all sorts of various things, what you would like to see. Uh, if you want to play me on video, then uh, I have a uh, video here on the YouTube channel that tells you what you need to do uh, in order to join the Cap'n Morgan Darts uh, Grand Board Club. Uh, that will guarantee that we get to play on video. Um, otherwise, my videos are completely random as to who I'm recording and who I'm playing um, based on whoever accepts challenges. So if you definitely want to play me, then uh, join the Cap'n Morgan Darts uh, Grand Board Club, and uh, instructions to do that are on uh, other videos here. So, anyway, I appreciate y'all. Shoot well.